I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will consider to maximize area of a rectangle in a given shape. Uh, to begin with let me take a shape of a, a rectangular rectangle inside let us say a semicircle okay so let's take semicircle as our uh, shape so semicircle of radius let us say of radius 5 so I've just drawn a semicircle here and let us say the radius of this semicircle is 5 that means this will be minus 5 that will be 5 and what we need to do is to find area of a rectangle which can fit into the space above the x-axis with vertices on the semicircle with maximum area so this is what we are interested in. we need to maximize area of this rectangle so that is the optimization question for you so you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion now how to do such questions so the idea here is take a point on the vertex of the uh, rectangle let it be x and y and this point will also be on the semicircle correct so that is the point so this point tells us that the x value is actually uh, half of the width of the rectangle and y value is the height of the rectangle and therefore we can write area of this rectangle as equals to x times y times 2 since the total total width will be I could say length x plus x 2x so area of this rectangle inscribed inside a circle with radius I should say semicircle with radius 5 units is 2xy now whenever you are maximizing and minimizing problems you need to relate one variable in terms of the other now how will you relate x and y one way to do it is uh, we can consider the diagonal of uh, diagonal let us consider 0 and x connect these points right so that becomes a diagonal now this you know is a right triangle where base is x and height is y so x and y are related with this hypotenuse with Pythagorean theorem right so we have a relation we can say x square plus y square is equals to 5 square that is the relation from here we can write y square is uh, 25 which is 5 square minus x square or we can say y is equals to square root of 25 minus x square right we'll take positive values distances are positive now here you will also notice that x can be this point x could be anywhere right so but wherever it is x has a boundary condition and that is that x could be greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equals to 5 otherwise it will be outside the circle so that is the boundary condition for x it is very important to consider the boundary conditions since the maximum or minimum of any graph in optimization problems we need to whenever we need to optimize we have to check values at the boundary conditions and at critical point correct so that is the whole idea so what you need to find is area of this rectangle when x is 0 you need to find area when x is equals to 5 those are the boundary conditions uh, and then area at critical point now how to find critical point critical point is when the derivative is 0 right so so critical point or critical number is when area derivative is 0 right so rate of change of area is 0 that gives us the critical number so at that point uh, we may have maximum area of the rectangle but we'll come to know only when we compare the three values correct so the strategy now is to write down the equation of area in terms of one variable in our case it is x two times x times y and y is square root of 25 minus x square correct so that is y so what is area area is derivative we will apply the product rule derivative of the first term is 2 2 times square root of 25 minus x square plus first term 2x times derivative of the second term half of uh, this comes in the denominator 
25 minus x square to the power of minus half. So it comes here, correct? Times derivative of inside term, which is minus 2x. So that is the derivative, which you can simplify. And since we want critical number, we'll equate this to 0. So we have 2 square root of 25 minus x square. Here, uh, this 2 and 2 could cancel, right? So we have minus 2x square over square root of 25 minus x square. Now, equating them to 0 means you equate uh, this to this, right? So, equating them to 0, let us solve. So, we have 2x square over square root of all this, which is 25 minus x square. That should be equal to 2 times square root of 25 minus x square. Right? So, now we can cross multiply and then simplify it a bit. So, I'll do this part here, right? So let us do it here. Now, if I cross multiply, I get 2x square equals to 2 times this times this will be 25 minus x square, correct? So that is how it can be simplified. When you cross multiply, radical, radical, it gives you the number as a whole, right? Inside number, 25 minus x square. So 2 and 2 cancels, cancels out, so we get x square equals to 25 minus x square, bringing it together, x square plus x square equals to 25, 2x square equals to 25. And um, we divide by 2 and then square root, right? So we have x square equals to 25 over 2 or x is equals to square root of 25 over 2 and that is 5 over square root of 2. Right? So, so that is the value of x which is going to give you the maximum area. Correct? Now, let's find out these values. So, in our expression for area, we have area as 2x times 25 minus x square. If I substitute 0 here, what do I get? Right? So, let's plug in 0, calculate the value. Correct? So what I'm doing now is I'm substituting 0 in this equation. So 0 times anything is 0. If I substitute 5, 25 minus 5 square is 25, which is also 0. And for the critical number which we have got is 5 over square root 2. So we can now substitute 5 over square root 2 in this particular equation and find the maximum area, right? So, so we can do that, which is 2 times 5 over square root 2. minus within square root uh, x squared is 25 over 2 so we have 25 minus 25 over 2 right so that is what we have and uh, definitely this is more than 0 so that is the critical critical number you can evaluate this and it comes to 25 number as a whole right so we can 25 minus 25 over 2 is 50 minus 25, which is 5 over 2 square root, right? So, so, so let me calculate it here, right? So, area, critical area is equal to 10 over square root 2, 10 over square root 2 minus, within the square root, we have square root of 50 minus 25 over 2, right? Which is 10 over square root 2 minus, this is 25 over 2 square root, which is 10 over square root 2 minus 5 over square root 2, and that gives us 5, I mean, I mean square root 2, that gives us uh, 5 over square root 2 as the, uh, I mean, it is not, it is not minus product, I'm sorry, this is multiplied, I'm writing product, okay, it's product, not minus, okay, so we need to multiply this, so it gives us uh, 50 over 2 square and when you multiply so it is 25 correct so what you get here is area which is maximum area so what we get here is maximum area is when x value is 5 over square root 2 and the maximum area is 25 units square 
So that is how you can solve it. It was product I was writing minus. So when you multiply these things, you get 50 over 2, which is 25. Okay? So that is how you can get the dimensions of the rectangle and its maximum area. Dimensions, let me write down here, dimensions will be what? X value for us is 5 over square root 2. And to find the y value, we'll substitute 5 over square root 2 here. So we get, uh, which we solved this part, which is 5 over square root 2 itself. So it is, uh, the y value is 5 over square root 2. However, dimensions is 2 times x. So it is 2 times, 2 times 5 over square root 2. That is 10 over square root 2 times 5 over square root 2. So that is the the x and y values so that is the dimensions right length and width of the so this is the this is the length and that becomes the width right so the length is two times x correct so the dimensions will be two times x value and this is the y value so this is the length and that is the width and maximum area will be 25 units square as we did in this particular question let me go through it once again. So whenever you need to inscribe rectangle in a circle, you can relate a point on the circle using x square plus y square equals to 5 square. So you get y equals to 25 minus x square whole square root. The boundary conditions are that x could be between 0 to 5 and the area, when you come up with this expression of area, which is length into width times 2, and when you substitute x as 0 or 25, you get 0 as your area. Now, critical number you can find by finding the derivative, which is 2 times square root minus 2x square over square root of that term. When you solve for it, you get x as equal to 5 over square root 2. Substitute 5 over square root 2 to find the maximum area, which comes out to be 25. Now, that is the maximum area and the dimensions are 2 times x, so 2 times 5 is 10, 10 over square root 2, and the width y, which is 5 over square root 2. So that is how you could solve this particular question. I hope that helps. Thank you, and all the best.